Hi, Jan Bobeck from Anderson and Bobeck. I want to chat a little bit today about Illinois child custody. Illinois no longer uses the term or vernacular custody or visitation. It's changed over the last couple years to be called parental responsibilities and parenting time. There's no longer a custodial parent in parenting agreements and we don't talk in terms of somebody getting custody of the children. Now, in jurisdictional terms, where you file a petition to talk about the parental allocations or responsibilities is where the child lives. There are circumstances where you may have left a jurisdiction or you're not in a particular jurisdiction for a number of reasons, temporarily, temporary work assignments, or maybe even domestic violence. And there are certain rules that apply when you're looking for some assistance from the court where you're temporarily residing with your child. So in terms of parental allocation for decision-making and parenting time, those are the terms that we're looking at now. So parental allocation of parenting time is where you allocate the time the child is with his parent A or parent B, with mom or dad. When you look at the parental allocation of time, you have to take into consideration regular weekdays, weekends, you also need to think about vacation times, vacation times in the summer, periods of time off of school for Christmas or spring holidays. You also want to think about other particular times that are important for each family who want to have the child with them during certain times. And you can make those arrangements in your allocation judgment about when the child is with parent A or parent B. You also want to think about transportation. How is the child going to get from point A to point B? That's also also something that can take place relatively smoothly as long as you have that arranged. As far as allocation of parental responsibilities, that's another important piece of what used to be called custody agreements. The parents have to decide or the courts will order one parent to be in charge of four major areas, education, religion, extracurricular activities, and medical. Now, one parent will make those decisions or they can agree to make those decisions together or the court can order parents to make those decisions together. So those are the four areas that have to be designated in an allocation judgment so that somebody is in charge of or there is a mechanism in place for these decisions to be made about the children. Sometimes people want to know what's the difference between legal and physical custody. Well, because we don't have custody in Illinois anymore, we don't call it custody. There is one little caveat and that's with the education law. The education law here in Illinois says the parent with the custody is where the children go to school. Well, because we don't have custody, we have to put a piece in the allocation judgment that designates the parents with the majority of time. And the parent with the majority of time is the person that we consider custody only for purposes of education factor, only for purposes of where that child is registered for school. And that's so that it can coincide with the school code and there's not confusion. Even if you have more time, even if you have 50-50 time, there has to be somebody designated for the purposes of where the child will go to school. That is because of boundaries and other things related to uh, registrations for school. Allocation of parenting time is also based on the best interest of the child. And most of the time, the parents themselves understand the dynamics of their specific family and they can work those out. But if they can't and they need to go to the courts, the courts will look at many factors, many factors about how to make a ruling about what's in the best interest of that child. They look at the wishes of the child, the wishes of the parents, how the child has adjusted to where they live now, health of everybody, mental and physical health of the child and the parents, 
how well the parents cooperate, how well they participate with the child in activities. A big factor is facilitation. The courts really want to know, can parent A facilitate a good relationship between the children and parent B? And likewise, can parent B do that as well? And a lot of people also want to know, can my child decide? Children deciding where they lived is not part of the Illinois law. However, I will tell you that the child's wishes is one of the elements. So it makes a difference what they want and maybe they're old enough to come in and talk to a judge and tell the judge or they have a child representative or a GAL who will relay those wishes or use those wishes to make a recommendation. But just because a child wants to live with parent A or parent B, that is a factor, but it's not weighed heavily. So the maturity level of the child makes a big difference. So if you're looking for information about parenting time or custody, please give us a call at Anderson and Bobek. You want to talk about the different options and the different vehicles that are in place for parenting allocation of responsibilities and parenting time.